Hi, welcome back. I'm Chris Sikora, and I'm going to step you through exercise 23, which is, um, as you see on the screen there, a sheet metal cylinder that you could unfold and then roll back up. Um, I'm going to show you two methods. There's the old method, method, and then there's the new method using two different sheet metal tools. So I'll first start off with the new method. So I'm going to go to new part and hit OK. And when I say new method, by the way, this is the method that's started around the early 20Os. Uh, the old method dates back to pre 21st century. So, okay, so I'm going to start a sketch. I'm going to right click and um, bring up a few, uh, basically, you want to bring up your sheet metal tab. Um, if you can't see it here, other, uh, actually, go tabs and then find sheet metal, make sure that's checked. Okay. And so uh, click on the tab and it should look like this. Now let's go ahead and select the front plane. And I already started a sketch on it, so I don't need to do that. But I'm gonna go ahead and go to the, uh, let's see here, the center point arc tool. Glide up to the origin, click and drag out what looks like a circle and then click again and then drag around and leave an opening in there like that. And I usually just like to make sure it's centered off of a location. So I went to the center line and drew a vertical center line and then hit escape, control select both endpoints of the arc and then the actual center line. And over to the left, make them symmetric. Now go to smart dimension and just dimension the opening. And let's just make it um, 10 thousandths of an inch. Now go ahead and dimension the radius and make it two and a half. And hit your F key on your keyboard so it's zoomed to fit. All right, we're ready now. We could go to the sheet metal tab and find base flange. Click on that. You could go ahead and drag this out. And in fact, I'm going to go mid plane on this. And the sheet metal thickness, we have it at 0.029. That's just fine. Um, and the bend radius, it doesn't really matter because it's taking the radius that we have plugged in on the dimension in this case. Now the K factor, I'll stick with 0.34. It's kind of 0 0.34, 0 0.32 is kind of a sweet spot. Um, we discussed that in the um, intro class. And let's go ahead and hit the green check. All right, to test it, click on flatten. And sure enough, we can see it flatten out. Go ahead and turn off flatten. And now let's go to, um, <clears throat> we want unfold. Select one of the edges here and then hit collect all bends and hit the green check and it should flatten it out for us. Now I wanna show you how to put that pattern in on there. So you can select this face, start a sketch on it once you flatten it. Go to the upper corner there, and let's go with something interesting. Let's uh, and we're just having a little fun here. You could go with any sort of slot or anything. I'm going to go with center point straight slot, and we'll click here. And I want to make sure I get horizontal, or in this case, vertical. See the little symbol to the right of my pointer, and then drag out the slot. I'll put a dimension in on it. Let's see, we'll make that point one two five. We'll locate this to this edge, 0.25. And finally, we'll dimension the length of that center line. We'll make it one, make it uh, one inch, and then hit escape. And then finally, just to align this, click on that point and the uh, I'm not getting the origin, that's okay. Let's just go with a center line. Right at that midpoint, click and connect to that center. And then hit escape, select that line, and make it horizontal. Now we know it's centered. Now we could uh, pattern this in a sketch pattern or as a feature pattern after we cut it. So I'm going to just go ahead and select it. And go to 
linear sketch pattern. And we'll go ahead and plug in, let's see, we'll have the spacing at, um, we'll do a half inch. And then zoom out and then increase it until you could see it completely fill the geometry. And you see that last one doesn't quite fit. That's all right, we'll end it early. Okay. <clears throat> and now we could um, hit the green check mark. Uh, so we could get that to fit better. It looks like it's probably just 0.5. We could change this length and then we get it centered. Uh, maybe 0.375 actually. There we go. Uh, one of the options I neglected to do was uh, there was a checkbox to lock it in that constrain it, but the dimension. So you could click on one of these and we could um, make sure it's horizontal and then just put a dimension between one of those center lines. Oh, actually it's in there, I guess. Let's see, uh, put a dimension maybe between these. Okay, there we go. Make sure it's just set to a half inch between those lines. And now it's fully defined. Let's go to Features, Extrude Cut, and Link to Thickness will ensure it goes through the part. Hit the green check, click off of it, and now let's go ahead and fold that up. So go to your Sheet Metal tab and go to Fold and hit Collect All Bends and hit the green check. And there it is. Okay, let's take a look at another method that's forgotten almost. So this is the method I would probably recommend these days. The other method is a little different. Let's go to new part and hit okay. Go to uh, select the front plane, start a sketch. And we'll do that same little trick again with the center point arc. Okay, and we'll go ahead and just add a dimension between those, the opening 0.01. And then once again, we'll make that point, or actually 2.5. Hit F on your keyboard. All right, now with this one, we just go to extrude boss space and we'll go ahead and put in 0.032 for the wall thickness. I know we did 0.029 last time. That's fine uh, if you want to go with that. All right, I'm going to go mid-plane and we'll go 2.5 inches. All right, so you can see this one's a bit thicker than the last one. That's okay. It doesn't really matter whichever thickness you want to go with. Hit okay. And so now we could convert it, select one of the edges, Go to Sheet Metal, and remember, before we used Base Flange, we're not going to use that this time. Mm -hmm. Far other side, this is the old tool. This dates back to the 90s. Go to Insert Bends, and from here we could go ahead and just plug in whatever parameters we need. We really don't need to change anything. Just hit the green check. And now let's go back, uh, try Flatten. And there it is. It flattens out. Okay, and click on Flatten again to fold it back up. Let's um, go to Unfold and select this edge as a fixed edge. Collect all bends, hit the green check, it flattens out. And this time we'll do a little bit different. We'll select this face, start a sketch, and we'll just add some circles here. And then we could go, uh, well, actually, it has a, a linear feature. Go to Extrude Cut, Link to Thickness. All right, now with that selected, go to Linear Pattern, select this edge, and span them out until they all fit. Reduce the number so that they're not overlapping. Oops. Just eyeball it here. Okay, so maybe around 1.72, it's close enough for 1.73. Hit the green check, 
And now I go back to sheet metal and fold, collect all bends, hit the green check. And there it is. So those are two methods that you just learned how to make a sheet metal cylinder. And that concludes exercise 23.